Hi, this is Chef Raul. I'm here once again with my good friend Isla. Uh, we're going to talk today about this prickly little guy. Oh, what the heck <laughs> is it and what do you do with it? This is called an artichoke. That's artichoke. a great question. Okay. Okay, artichokes. Artichoke, when you see them, don't really get afraid because they have all these thorns. This vegetable make a great, great uh, garnish in your plate, make a great presentation, and it's really good for you. Okay, so what do you do with it? Okay, basically, when you go to the market, you go and you want to find one that is like nice, round and glow, like this one, with a tight crown. Okay. Sometimes you can find some of these like brown spots over there. There's nothing wrong with that. That means that in, when it was in the field and was growing, the frost. Just the frost, yeah. Okay. And that actually makes it sweeter. That makes it a little bit sweeter, okay. yes. Now, with the sharp knife, what we're going to do is, I go to like cut a little bit of the bottom. Nice. And we can remove all the extra brown leaf right here, like this one, you see? Oh, I see. And you can just... I am learning so much. To see, clean a little bit the the stem okay. and now you take another knife like this one is serrated this is a i would say that is the most uh, safe to use now we can remove the top oh that's kind of yeah tough. you need to put some muscle okay It's tough, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's a tough vegetable. And now as soon as you have removed this, let me put some more of the scrap right here. The best way to use is a kitchen scissors. Now you take a pair of kitchen scissors uh -huh. and you can go and finish to cut it up. Now, after you have this, you want to take and cut it in half. Okay. I'm going to start from right here to the way down. That seems easier. Yeah, yeah. that's a little bit easy. Plus, when you put it here, you want to make sure you can clean a little bit of this stuff, but you don't want to go too close to the heart because most people claim that this is like the most... The tastiest part. The tastiest part. It's the yep. meatiest as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a very great, great versatile dish okay. to you to cook at home, and you can cook it different ways. You can boil it, you can steam it, you can roast it, or you can basically put the in the oven, in a roasting pan with some chicken stock, cover it with foil, stick it in the oven, it cook nice and into it's nice and tender. Mm -hmm. Plus it give you an extra flavor of the chicken stock. If you don't have any chicken stock, you can put vegetable stock or some scrap of vegetable and we help to steam and give it some flavor. Mm -hmm. All the stuff that we can do is uh, stuff them. You can stuff them? Yep, after you have them and they're like blanch or they're already like steam you can take it right here you see a lot of italian people do that and just put a your favorite stuffing on top you can use shrimp like stuffing, seafood shrimp stuff, stuffing seafood stuffing rice white beans, rice rice and beans more vegetables put it in the oven and roast it or you simple can take them brush it with olive oil and a little bit of garlic and put them face down in your grill nice so i know that you prepared some for us yes and i'm basically going to move it over here and these, how did you make these? Okay, this one, what we did was like we steamed them before. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is the finished product, and it's like I tell you, if you steam them or if you boil them, it could take different, it's not exactly one way to cook it because it depends the size, how big it is, how small, how many you put in the pot, but you make sure you can check it with the, they are like that in half. Always check through the stamp. Okay. Right here, this part, for more that you boil, it never got to get soft. Okay. Okay. After you have it like that, you can just go ahead and remove some of the leaf. And this little part right here, it's like a, a, a little piece of the hard meat. You can take it, just dip it in a little bit of low-fat Italian dressing or your favorite dressing and just eat it up. Nice. That nice. means next time you go to the supermarket, this is a terrific vegetable next time you go to the supermarket don't be afraid to grab one and try it at home vitamins talk to me about vitamins minerals you said something about the artichoke uh, packing up minerals yeah. like 
magnesium, yep. potassium, potassium, iron, iron calcium, oh, calcium, and it's a great source of fiber and vitamin C. C. And you know what is the best part? It's very low in calories. And you know how we try to watch now we need to keep our the way we way. eat and how many calories we put in our body. Okay. That means like how I tell you before, next time you go to the supermarket, you make sure you grab a artichoke and I go, I go to be sure you never go to be disappointed. Don't, don't be disappointed. Grab one, go home, cook it, eat it.